Hey everyone, what's up? This is Karan here, Pack Dream Video, and you're welcome to Tech Karan YouTube channel. I've installed MIUI 11 Masic MDB Stable Custom Room, which is based on Android 10, and you get the security patch of 1st of March 2020. This room is ported by KR thanks to the porter who just ported this build on our Redmi Note 8, and this is also one of the stable builds which you can use which is based on MIUI 11 and based on Android 10. So which are the things you get in this MIUI 11 Android 10 based room? What are the things working? What are the bugs? And can you use this room as your daily driver or not? Everything in this video, so let's get started now. This is I have my Redmi Note 8 in which I have installed MIUI 11 which is based on Android 10 and with the look of home skin it looks very very cool and very very good looking. If we talk about apps, yes it is based on Android 10 but you get some good apps like weather app is there, gallery, music, every, everything looks good. The music app is little bit of change like terms and service when you click here and it is just change. It is forced stopping in my case. It was working well in the first time but now it is not working. So this is the bug but you can use any third party music player if you want. There is no bug of music, there is no bug of sound. You can use any third party music app very easily. If you talk about themes, yes themes are there in English also but themes are not working in my case also. I tried to download all the themes. These were not working too. I tried many times and you can see couldn't download error. It is always showing like couldn't download etc etc etc. I you can see couldn't download 3000005 etc. I don't know what's the issue. The theme center is working for some of my users, some of the users of Redmi Note 8, but in my case it's not working. You can try some other things if it is working for you then it's very very good if you talk about file manager everything is same in the file manager everything is totally same no issues at all let's take a look at camera first of all if you talk about camera you get mi y12 camera pre-installed in this build which is a very very good thing and when you click photos photos are clicking very very easily very Beautifully, if you talk about ultra wide, it is working too. That's a very very good thing too. You also get the AI mode, which is also working. You also get some extra features like Mi 12 camera app. You have settings, voice shutter, straighten, macro, tilt shift, and macro is working too. There are a lot of things that are working and looks very very good. But if you talk about video mode and portrait mode, the both of the things are not working. Look at this when you click on portrait, your camera is not working at all. So this thing you have to compromise with that as you can see can't connect to camera so portrait mode in the me stock camera is not working but if you want to install gcam let me show you by installing gcam once in gcam it should work and uh, here one thing i have seen that in file manager these are the things not showing up I don't know why what's the problem but storage is in when you go to storage like this one here you can see your SD card apps are here so I will install Gcam 7.2 right now ahead of you and let's see if it works or not it should work and by the terms of performance you can see it is not bad there are some lags here and there but performance is not bad you can use this room as a daily driver if you can compromise some things like main camera sport portrait mode with 48 megapixel and and some theme type of section here you have to grant some permissions so let me do this once and let's see if it is working or not it is opening the photos are clicking that looks very very good there is an HDR plus option available too yes it is working very 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 good looking if you talk about portrait mode it is working too so if you want to use portrait mode then you can use Gcam and as you know Gcam is one of the favorite thing if you want video recording yes it is working too so all of the main things which you would love to use all of the things are working so if we talk about some other things first of all as i already shown you the themes are not working in my case but if you want to try you can try out theme section too all other things like this one uh, there are new animations but not new animations from here there is an option to enable those new animations when you go to additional settings and you go to full screen display 
you have the option of use new gestures when you click this you will see navigation bar pill here new navigation gestures and a lot more but this thing will affect after reboot so i cannot show you because i have to reboot my device once if i do this so let me show you some features which you get here first of all there are dividers missing so there is a change in settings layout first of all in my device has already shown you this is a MIUI 11 Masic MDB stable version in WLA and Bluetooth connection sharing everything is same like all other all other MIUI 11 builds there is a location option which is moved slightly upward in the settings location multiple users I already shown you always on display obviously not working on that me note 8 in lock screen setting you have some extra options like show power menu lock screen launch camera and double tap to turn off or on screen in display section like you have in brightness level you have two options automatic brightness and sunlight mode this is a new feature sunlight mode which is not available in any other MIUI 11 room I have just tried so many times and in dark mode you have the dark mode option you have global dark mode option available too you have the schedule option available too so there is finally global dark mode available which is very very good thing you can use new MIUI fonts you can choose other fonts too if you want to and text size and font weight there's an option of animation system animations options are available which there are a lot of animations linear wave scale or fold whichever you like you can choose that full screen mode and when you go to notch and status bar there is a bug of hiding the notch like this you can see i have already chosen the hide and move status bar but notch is not hidden when you choose this this is good when you click this one it is looking like this but i just like to use this one and this feature is not working i've tried many times so this is also a bug but this is not a major bug you can sacrifice with that you have the option of toggles in minimize shade and expanded shade etc connection speed and all other options like battery icon style and here you have some extra options show privacy behavior icons dual network icon and these kind of things here let's move forward let's check out some other things sound and vibration navigation everything is same in home screen you have some extra options like when you go to general settings you have the option of home screen like regular or with app drawer whichever you want to choose you can choose that one app word option is enabled too and these are almost same options which you get in all other builds too let's move forward in first of all in theme section as i already shown you everything is same password and security yes you have a face lock option available and it is working you can see it is opening without any issues face lock is working in my case very very good so there's another major bug is solved so no face lock error here battery and performance everything is same apps and let's go to additional settings you have date and time language and input full screen display i've already shown you full screen use new gestures whichever you want to choose you can choose that one like there's an option of ignore accidental touch on the edges this is a new feature you can choose big area small area or you can also customize according to your own preferences that's a very good thing too like accessibility enterprise mode and all the additional features are available here like game turbo video toolbox quick reply second space and mui lab i don't know these things are working or not but these things doesn't matter a lot in developer options all extra features available like extended power menu app name for warning screenshot in any app etc these were all kind of features these were all the things which you get here and when you move on to screen time you get the normal screen time feature which you get in MIUI 11 based normally all the things are here available here I have already shown you which are the things you get here which are the things working which are the things not working I hope you like this video I hope you like this review so thanks for watching this was all goodbye have a nice day how to install this build sorry for that i just forgot about that how to install this build there's a little bit of complicated process i'll try to write below in the description you can try out and if you are not able to boot this room in any case you can comment below and i will make a separate video for the installation very very soon so this was all thanks for watching have a nice day